Hello, dear friends. What an honor it is to be here with you. How unfortunate it is to physically not be there with you, to admire you, to learn from you. But it looks like that this video will just have to do for now until we meet uh, again. I have to say a, a big thank you to dear Giuseppe for having me. And I have to say that I greatly admire him as a human being and as an artist, both because he uses his talents to bring awareness to some of the most important issues of our time. And I wondered if everybody used their artistic talents or even their other skills to bring attention to these issues and promote a message of peace and unity, what kind of world we would be living in, what kind of a different world we would be living in. So thank you, dear Giuseppe. I don't have to mention, as it may have been mentioned, I, I'm a television journalist and I have spent a great deal of my time researching Middle East conflict and in particular radicalization. In fact, I spent a great deal of my time doing that because I felt that it could help make me familiar with some of the problems of the world. Because in my 20s, when I was a younger lady, I really struggled with what my part was in this world, how I could contribute to the betterment of society. So I put my arts aside, I put my love and passion for music aside and performing aside because I was given the impression that that art doesn't have a place to play in this in this peacemaking arena. And so I started to study and delve into more political analysis and study. And while I became very familiar with some of the complex issues that plagued our society, I began to realize that there is a solution. And that solution is far more simple than we had imagined. And that solution includes arts in ways that we cannot fathom or even realize or appreciate today. The solution is this. If everybody in the world realized that they were one, we wouldn't have the problems that we see today. If we realize that another person's pain on another side of the world is our pain, if their successes are considered our successes, if their oppression is considered our oppression, we would be living in a far better world. It's really this oneness of humanity. And in order to achieve this realization of our oneness, we can't just change minds in the political sphere. We have to touch hearts. We have to bring hearts to a heightened realization. We have to bring our minds and our hearts to this heightened realization that we are truly just one people living on this planet. So one of the primary ways that I have discovered and that many of you probably already know one of the primary ways that we can actually touch hearts and minds at the same time is through the arts. It's actually even a spiritual way that we can touch the minds, hearts, and the souls. It is actually a tool for peace. It is a universal language. It is the one particular faculty among many other few others <laughs> that actually can bring people together. Every person can relate to and feel a connection to music. Every person can feel a connection to a painting or a song um, or a, a certain um, film that they see or, or a clip or when we watch the news. Two people that are seemingly enemies no matter where they're from, what their background is, man or woman, child or adult, can look at a piece of art, can listen to a song, could see a film from opposite ends of the world and feel similar emotions. So in, in truth, art is actually proof that we are all one and art can connect all of us together. I uh, am a Baha'i, which simply means that I believe in the oneness of mankind. And I spend my entire life 
and I'm trying to spend my entire life dedicating it to the service of others. And in the Baha'i faith, art that is used for the service of others and, and helping mankind is considered to be the highest form of prayer because it is so powerful. So now I find myself trying very hard because of this heightened realization, trying very hard to include more of the performing arts in my life, to try to use film and media to raise awareness of certain issues and arise people to a sense of social action and put the power in the hands of, of the masses where they belong because it's truly within the masses such as yourselves, and we all know this, that we can truly make a difference in the world. Um, again, it is an honor to have these few moments. Um, thank you for these few moments of time with you. I cannot wait to meet you all in person, um, and I am so honored to be included with many other people who are trying to use what they have to spread a message of peace and love and unity and this oneness of mankind. Sending love to you all from America.